Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Reverend Larry Pettiford with Hope in the Word Ministries, along with my lovely wife, the Reverend Yvonne Pettiford. We'll be beginning uh, every Thursday, starting tonight, uh, coming at you with just a 10-minute hope, uh, bringing hope in God's Word to you, encouraging you. So we pray every Thursday you will tune in, and uh, we're not have a set, we do not have a set time at the moment, but we will let you know when we do. But we want to just bring a, a word of encouragement to you. Continue to go to our website, www.hopeinthewordministries.com. Click on the prayer request button. We would love to pray for you, touch and agree with you. Please obey God. Go there. You don't have to put your name. Just send in a prayer request. Reverend, I need prayer for this. And I believe God's going to answer your prayer. We'd love to lift you up. Also, there's a donate button. We need your financial support to continue to do what God has called us to do. Click on the donate button and believe God that he, as you bless us, he will bless you. So this uh, afternoon here in Phoenix, Arizona, I just want to bring you a word of encouragement talking about what voice are you listening to? And the scripture I'm going to read to you is out of John 10, 27. This is Jesus speaking. He says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. My sheep listen to my voice. It also says they hear my voice. That word hear in the Greek talks about a coup, which is mean understand. When Jesus is speaking to his sheep, if you're his sheep, you know his voice. Maybe you hadn't given your life to Christ. You need to do that. And then you can understand. You will hear his voice, a coup. You will understand when he's talking to you. The only thing standing between you and the prophecy over your life is the wrong voice. Let me say that again. The only thing standing between you and the prophecy over your life is the wrong voice. The only thing standing between you and the promise over your life is the wrong voice. Part of the problem many of you are having right now, you're listening to the wrong voice. There's many voices out here in this world. Now, like never before, you've got to hear the master's voice when he's talking to you. Like I said, maybe he's telling you to go send in your prayer request as me and my lovely wife would pray for you. God will move upon that request and answer. Some of you, he's telling you right now, obey, give to that ministry, hoping to work. Click on the donate button. Help them to preach this gospel around this world. See, you've got to listen to the word, the voice of God, brother. You've got to hear his voice. The word voice in Greek means forename, a sound, a tone, a language. So what voice, what sound, what tone, what language are you listening to? It is very important. Are you listening to a lot of rap, a lot of things that polluting your spirit? Are you getting some gospel music, listening to the words of the songs? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I once was lost, but now I'm found. You know, what are you listening to is very, very important. Romans 10, 17 says this, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith, if you need faith, comes by what? Hearing, hearing, and hearing what? The word of God. That's where you're going to get the word. That's why our ministry is called hope in the word. There's hope in God's word. If you need hope, you got to get in his word. No hope, no word. Hope, word. That's why it's very important. Read a little bit. Ask God to help you understand what you're reading. The Holy Spirit will bring these things to your remembrance. He will be your teacher. He will help you there. What voice are you listening to? You need to take time right now. God, what voice am I listening to? All this chaos, all this hell breaking loose in my life. I know I'm listening to the wrong voice. The devil is a liar. I'm going to start tuning in to what you're saying, God. I'm going to start opening up your word, turning down all the music, the TV, shutting off my cell phone for a minute, sitting in quietness, and I need to hear from you. Somebody needs to hear from him right now. Your life's a mess. It's hanging by a thread right now. Some of you are contemplating suicide. Some of you are contemplating a divorce. Some of you are contemplating how I'm going to make it. Am I going to quit my job? Am I going to get fired? You need to hear the voice of God like never before. My sheep listen to my voice, Jesus says. And then they says, he says, they follow me. Yes, yes, yes. You will follow Christ when you hear his voice. I love that. You know, people with a speech impediment, they go to a speech therapist. 
And you would think the first thing the speech therapist would check would be their tongue, their mouth, their vocal box. No, 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 no. The first thing they check is their ears. Why? Because our ability to hear depends on our ability to speak. Because what you hear, you're going to speak out. If you hear the word, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For yeah. those who come to God must believe that he exists and he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. See, what are you listening to is going to come out. When you're facing all these things, you can run over to Romans and say, where God says, he works all things together for the good of those who love him, been a call according to your purpose. See, I love him. My wife loves him. I know yes. many of you love him. He's yes. got a plan for you. He's working that out for your good and his glory. But what voice are you listening to? Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let me leave you with this last scripture. Revelations 3.20. Jesus says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and him with me. Hallelujah. I like that. Jesus says, here I am. I stand at the door. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, anyone, you that are tapping in right now, you that are just trolling right now, stop what you're doing. Just stay there for the next minute. If you hear his voice, if you hear that knock, he says, open the door. You got to do something. Open the door of your spirit and say, God, speak. Speak to me, Lord. Speak. Speak, Lord. Yes, speak. Lord Jesus. And he will speak to you. So you have to hear Jesus' voice to be able to open the door. I hope this is bringing you some encouragement this Thursday. Tune in every Thursday. As I said earlier, we will let you know the time that we will be broadcasting here from Phoenix, Arizona. But will you take time the rest of this week, take some quiet time and spend it with God. Get on your knees, turn everything off, and I guarantee you he will speak to you. Jesus loves you. We love you. And that's just the way it's going to be. Keep the faith. Don't give up. You're too close to your miracle. God bless you. See you Sunday morning with a word of encouragement. Tune in, Mountain Standard Time, 10 a.m. Be blessed.